stick around I'm going to talk you through how I created this scene using Blender, Substance and Unreal there may or may not be one or two golden nuggets so just stick around watch and see what you think so once I had the idea settled and the concept settled I collect uh, all my reference and put it in here same same way that I did Light Architect City Builder, the Hong Kong and the Soviet packs and same way that I do every other pack um, because it works and it is this collect all my reference put it in one place and then identify the key 3D areas that I am interested in as you can see all here marked and then I go and take those areas individually and break them down here you can see I use the door as reference and then just broke down the rest of the scene and then identified the different 3D tiles over here and then in each corner top left I put height and width um, and that just dumbs things down quite a lot so making a modular kit like this in terms of 3D parts is like if the the analogy that I can use here is is Lego um, there are a lot of blocks look the same but you can take the same blocks and build a lot of different things and what that does allow you to do is take your 3D assets and stretch them much further than what you would be able to if you built complete objects so don't build complete objects build sections and then you snap together these sections to make different shapes from the same le well lego blocks so i normally have a kit here that i call tiles and then i'll take whatever i need from that kit and start just building a shape that that i feel like basically until i come up with um couple of different shapes and as you can see I followed pretty much that came up with this that's the standard workflow that I that I that I follow um, and just on modular content uh, get into the habit of, of, of designing modular content um, I had someone buy one of my kits um, and they wanted to employ me straight away and they said that there are a lot of good concept artists out there and there are a lot of good designers out there but there are not a lot of people that understand the value of modular content uh, and they said from the pack that I created apparently I understood modular content very well and that would enable them to stretch their 3D much further so understand modular content for the houses, um, the houses I set up like this to export them to Substance as an FBX. Um, it would just be easier to get a nice looking house uh, in Substance. And I kept the doors and windows and everything else off with the reason being is that I can then make props, um, different props and build blueprints in Unreal so that these units could effectively look quite different from each other um, I suppose if you're using Unity the language that you use would be prefabs and not blueprints but same same concept um, I set the material up like this once I had my material I put all of them in a folder um, that folder I can then right click and create smart material so what that does is it drops a smart material in here so for the rest of my um, kit that I want to bring in here I can just simply search that material that I set up so now I've got a template material for the rest of my assets um, and I know everything is going to have the same look and feel which is very important obviously for continuity so with the larger pieces of kit out of the way um, just focusing on the smaller items like these, the doors and other props um, uh, I want to set them up for Substance Painter and the way that I did that is assign different vertex colors to different parts of the mesh based on where I wanted to assign different um, materials or smart materials in Substance Painter so what this does if I export this as an FBX now and bring it into Substance I can bake my mesh maps make sure that I hit ID and make sure that vertex color is selected and obviously then all the other passes that I would need so if I bake this now 
you'll see if I hold down control while dragging one of these materials onto a part of mesh. If I just drag the material, um, it'll assign it to everything. But if I hold control, I'll be able to see the ID pass. So now I can assign holding control and it'll just assign the relevant material to the re relevant piece of mesh. Again, holding control just in either window, doesn't matter and that gives me a very good way to assign different materials on different mesh areas in substance using the vertex paint in blender for the vegetation and the bushes um, I normally work in both curves and meshes I start out as curves which you can see here um, I traced over an image um, that I used as reference and just traced the basic shapes of a couple of branches and w what I did then is took those curves and just from my quick menu um, collapsed them down into mesh um, and here I kept a copy of the curve as backup but I have a copy of the mesh now and then I just scaled the ends down at this stage it is a good idea to unwrap them as you can see um, they have their UVs assigned right there. Uh, before you start building complex branches, um, I do that normally because it's very difficult to properly unwrap a full bush. But at this point, it was a case of of starting to 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 build, um, and then once you have something like this, obviously make a couple of variants. Um, I've got build 1, build 2 and build 3 that just vary in density. Um, at this point I exported the FBXs and took them into Unreal um, and then just assigned wind, a simple grass wind in the material section in Unreal just specifying wind intensity, wind weight, wind speed and a couple of other things. Um, that will give you something like this which doesn't look too great here but uh, when you far enough zoomed out it does give you the idea of motion and wind on the brush that's pretty much what I did with the brush and the bush so with all the props and major components like the houses complete um, it's obviously time to jump into Unreal and I brought in everything in respective folders so I know exactly where to find things also I named them in a way that I can understand what I'm doing and also something that would come up easy in a search in other words materials all start with M underscore and then the material name a blueprint would all start with BP underscore and then the blueprint name and a texture would start with T underscore it just helps you search but that's just a side something on the side um, I brought them in, in in quite a basic way obviously as I said before I wanted the shell um, and then be able to add different doors windows and sills and shades over so that even while the shell is the same the units look quite different so it just enables me to stretch my 3d a little bit further so to do that I set them up as blueprints um, I made a blueprint folder here and then right click blueprint class and selected actor and just hit BP underscore and gave it whatever the shell name was um, then in the blueprint section I obviously can just assemble and that's what I have done here is I've just assembled um, various versions of this house as an example now the nice thing with blueprints is that compared to just doing this as a mesh I can do this as a mesh in blender and just bring the whole thing in as one but then it's a it's a mesh and it is what it is I can't change it but if it's a blueprint I can add things to this later and if I hit compile and then save it'll update every version of this that is in the scene it's like an instance um, and it's like a prefab I believe in unity once I had my blueprints and I were happy with them I just arranged them in the scene in a way that's quite linear but that closes off the scene you'll see when I scroll past here that your well this the scene is closed off at the back you can't see through it which is exactly what I wanted and then right at the back I've got a just a, a curved back plate PNG and that works well in closing off the scene as far as the scene detail goes um, when you open a new Unreal file you get the option 
to use starter content so if you do use starter content or enable starter content I believe the checkbox is then you will have this folder here saying starter content and that will give you some basic particles fire and very vanilla effects that you can just drag into your scene which is which is what I used here for the fire and a couple of other things um, as far as the ground goes these ground details I mean they're very very nice details they are some of the Megascans free library um, if you look at these rocks and the grass so the way to add them to your project is if you've installed the Megascans as a plugin into Unreal you can navigate to your marketplace tab and select free and then select Megascans and then you'll see their free content so in any of these you can just click on the one that you are interested in and then you can add that to your project so now that I've selected it I've added to cart if I hit add to project this will automatically write a folder into my current Unreal project which is really great it's very well integrated into Unreal and I'll see if I hit that I'll see a download bar um, moving and then when it stops I'll have a mega scans folder in here so I was quite intimidated at first by bringing in mega scans and other content into scenes I thought it'd be easy, uh, more difficult but it's it it really it could not be simpler for the final render obviously getting a camera moving in unreal and be able to render it out i needed to use the sequencer i made a folder just call it sequence then in animation just selected a new level sequence so n call that whatever you want and then obviously i used that just to link those sequences to a camera um, you'll see here I have camera cuts and then I've got cine camera actor 1 which is this and that just gives me the ability to render this clip out if I hit the render options which is then the final step in how I created this clip I hope you did enjoy it I hope you learned something uh, let me know in the comment section if this was helpful. Let me know if you want me to expand on any of what I said over here. This was a very quick overview style video. If you want more info, happy to oblige.